few hands later, I pick up pocket aces on the button. The hijack limps in. He's the player I had ace king against earlier. I raise to 20. Small blind calls. The hijack calls two. We go three ways to the flop. It's queen, four, three, rainbow. Both players check. I bet 35. Small blind folds. The hijack calls were heads up. The turn is an eight. The opponent checks. I increase the bet size and make it 110. I don't think this player would fold a queen to me for that price. He just flats. This pot is getting big. The river is a six. A few unlikely straights get there. Surprisingly, the hijack announces a bet at 240. He slides his chips in the middle. This is a frustrating situation for me. The vast majority of the time, when opponents aren't the aggressor for the previous streets, and all of a sudden bet big on the river, they typically have two pair better. Queens is the only hand that I play this way that's better than what I'm currently holding, so I'm at the very top of my range, but I feel like I'm beat. Convince myself that I can be right way less than half the time in this instance and still be profitable by calling. So that's what I do. I put in the stack of chips. If we get some bad news, the player obviously has his beat. Except this time he doesn't. He shockingly has queen seven suited. It looks like he turned his top pair into some sort of bluff. My aces are good. The funny thing is that I was worried after the player called the big bat on the turn that he might have a set. So I was planning on checking back the river. The hijack takes himself to value town. We win another large pot. Our mountain of chips is just getting more mountainy. 